Hey guys, George Kramer, Village Blacksmith, Gloucester, Virginia. Just wanted to share a little update I did for the uh, induction forge. Made a little jacking table here with a, using a scissor jack. I want to make it clear. I just I spent very little time on this, and it didn't really cost that much money to do that. Just a scissor jack and some fire brick, so you can jack up your material and hold it level in the coils. That's pretty much all it is. And this idea could also work with a gas forge or uh, any other kind of um, forge that you want to support material. Uh, and you can adjust the height of it if you have odd shaped parts and whatnot. Uh, it just suits this need. I wanted to do this for a while. Uh, let me show you the, the fire brick here real quick. Um, fire brick is the, probably the most expensive part of this entire build. All this really is is just a cheap old scissor jack, maybe like a 1500 pound scissor jack. Made a little handle for it on the side, tack welded it on. And just use scrap, you know, drops from the plasma table. But uh, you can use this for, um, you can find those scissor jacks for like 20 bucks or less online or probably even cheaper at yard sales or flea markets or not. But it's a good idea for a tool rest. If you guys got a better idea, please shout it out and let me know if, uh, you don't have to use a screw jack, obviously, but you could come up with your own. But uh, just something real quick. I didn't spend a whole bunch of time on it. I just, something I've been wanting to do. I get tired of holding material up. I've been working on a lot of one inch, one and a half inch bar lately. So this will help alleviate that. Even if it supports it on one side, so you don't have to hold the whole bar up and run the risk of sparking and arcing. And yeah, I should probably put some ceramic paste on there, but I haven't got around to it. But, uh, yeah, there it is. I mean, not a lot of cost there. Pretty quick project, and it's uh, it'll pay dividends over time. And, again, you could use this for a gas forge as well, uh, or, or a coal forge, as a matter of fact. You could put a stand over here, and for long material, you could you know, jack it up or down if it's odd-shaped, or you have a bend in it or something, you need to hold it lower or higher. Just wanted to share that. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys got a better idea or if you've already done this, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. George Kramer, Village Blacksmith.